Vlogs. We're here in uh, Scano, in Abruzzo, in uh, actually the geographical center of Italy, uh, an area which is often uh, touched by earthquakes actually. We hope that will not happen Happens tomorrow <laughs> when we race or any time that we're here. But, um... What you see here is uh, Xterra, that's the formula of the race we're doing. Um, for those who don't know, it's an off-road triathlon. So the bike part you do on a mountain bike and the run you actually do also in the forest, on the trails. Uh, it's a little bit different from, from road triathlons, isn't it, James? You've done this one, haven't you? I did this one two years ago. At the time, I wasn't um, in particularly good health with being very undercarved. It is the worst experience I ever had. It's such a hard race. Um, a huge amount of climbing on uh, the bike and the run. It, this guy really knows to encourage you, right? <laughs> For me, it's the first ever Xterra that I'm going to yeah. do. And I did the course today we used e-mountain bikes in order not to, to smash our legs too much uh, before the actual race. And even that was, it was tough. I still have nightmares about that race. Ramps and like, not sure I was gonna make it to the end. With uh, good nutrition and feeling good, it should be a different story. But I think it's the hardest exter on the uh, on the world tour. Basically. Talking about this world tour, theoretically, one can qualify for the World Championships here, which take place uh, every year in the end of October on, uh, on Maui. But unfortunately, for some reason, there's only one slot for our age group, and there are 27 of us in our age group. So we will probably find it very difficult to qualify for Maui. As for between us, who will arrive first tomorrow, I, I would definitely have my money on Matt based on all the racing we've done, apart from the one mountain bike race we did together, where Matt had his spectacular crash just in front of me. Uh, the great little vehicle. Which was not the only crash <laughs> that day. <laughs> it was one out of four. After the fourth one, I decided to take the whole take thing a little, so, a little. Matt will definitely put time into me on the, on the climbs, but I may be able to recover a bit on the descent. The descents uh, require a lot of skills, and usually this is where James is the better one of us. And we'll see you after the race tomorrow. Exactly. Cool. Eccolo qui il nostro James. Seconda posizione per Tancredi Pizzo della Triathlon Pavese con il tempo di 3 ore e 27 minuti. Okay, so a race review from Exter, one of our biggest objectives of the year. As I had known already from two years ago, it was an incredibly hard race. Off-road triathlons generally are. The result to start with, I was 10th overall, Matt was 15th, and I was third of the age group, and Matt was fourth. So oh, yeah. fourth out of 27. So Matt had a great start. Yeah, for me, the best part of the race actually was the swim this time, which is not... Uh 
a common thing for, for, for none us. of us. Neither of us, yeah. <laughs> but I exited the swimmers. water third of, of all amateurs. Couldn't make the best use out of that wonderful position though. Um, no, because I eventually caught him on the bike. Yeah, so, <laughs> yeah uh, it was a technical course, we had previewed that. So the skills come into play, and uh, so Matt this has, is where Matt this has, guy Matt has the legs. The, Matt has these uh, these quality legs, but um, maybe I've got the skills come on, for the both of us. Um, and uh, and uh, yeah, so I caught Matt on the descent, and then I guess I just spent the whole time running, thinking he's got to be coming, he's got to be coming, he's got to be coming. It's a bit of a surprise because based on this year's form, Matt has generally kicked my butt cheeks. The run was. Unbelievably hard. It was unbelievably like crawl, hard. Crawling up a bank for it was, ages because it was really steep. So, yeah, I was on, uh, on all four yeah. legs basically. <laughs> for, Which for... is not normal for a triathlon. Hey, there was only one slot for the World Championships this year for some reason for the category, so I didn't get one. Um, well, neither of us got one. Hopefully, we will try again. Matt may even try in uh, Germany this month. Our next plan or next. Um, uh, target is the Ironman 70.3 at the start of Portugal. So hopefully the plan is to go to South Africa, the World Championships next year, um, by qualifying in Portugal. So keep yourselves tuned. So. <laughs>